been a while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I did a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Right? You guys having fun? All aboard the toxic gossip train. You're chatting down the tracks of misinformation. The toxic gossip train. You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station. Toxic gossip train. Time you to the tracks and harass me for my past. These rumors look like facts. If you don't mind the gaps, I won't survive in the crush, but hey. At least you're having fun. Uh, hi everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. So. And I am, and um, today I only want to talk about the facts. So, I hope that you'll be willing to listen. Here we go. Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way, where I was just trying to be besties with everybody. It's kind of like uh, when you go to like a family gathering, now and there's a weird aunt there, keeps coming up to you and going like, hey girl, what's tea? And you're like, Ugh. Um, that was me, but in group chats with my fans. It was weird. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that, I feel like I'm talking to my friends. But in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. There were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. But that's not very interesting, is it? So let's go on the toxic gossip train. The locomotive's fueled with hateful accusations. The toxic gossip train. Steam all over someone's reputation. Toxic gossip train. Hop on board but close your eyes, otherwise you'll realize the train is made of lies and that the person you despise and Evie didn't deserve to die but hey at least you're having fun in all seriousness I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes um, you know we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person and this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes and it's something that I will continue to try to do what oh you don't care oh. I got you on me to take accountability But that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No, your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise While you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise yeah. I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video She's gaslighting, manipulating, oh, she's a narcissist and a rat I would never make a mistake like that Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that all of you are perfect, so please criticize me. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little song. I know you wanted me to say that I was 100% in the wrong. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for thou. Hey everybody, I found someone new to harass She did some things that I do not like in her past So everybody dab around, cause we're about to attack But not based on facts, oh no You're loaded lethal weapon, it's your fingers on the keys You don't need any armor when you can hide behind a screen So shoot me down quick with a click and bam Her reputation's deceased Uh, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about that girl Miranda Sings. You know the one. Yeah, her? Oh, she's PG-13. It says that on my website, and it's always been that way. And that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube Kids app. Anyway, 
Um, I didn't realize it was my responsibility to decide what was appropriate for every kid to see. The boys relied on parents to decide if they're comfortable with their families watching my YouTube videos or coming to my live shows. Have I made some jokes in poor taste? Yes. Have I made lots of dumb mistakes? Yes. Am I sad that there's some fans that feel betrayed? Yes. It was my intention to manipulate? No. It doesn't really matter what my intention was, because it seems as though everyone's already decided on that. Let me tell you, it's not very fun to have millions of people all over the world call you the most vile, horrendous, disgusting, life-ruining words that a person can be called, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't matter that these things are true. Uh, everyone just believes that you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. So I just wanted to say that um, the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer. I'm just a loser who didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans. And I'm not a predator, even though a lot of you think so. Because five years ago, I made a fart joke. So... Even though I know this video won't change anyone's mind about me, I still felt it was important to come on here and defend myself a little in tick accountability. And I also wanted to say that to anyone out there who has ever supported me in any capacity, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. Words for it. Never had any bad intentions. But I do feel like shit. The toxic gossip train I'm chugging down the track so this information Toxic gossip train You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station Toxic gossip train You tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past Rumors look like facts when you don't mind the gaps I won't survive in the crash, but hey Oh, yeah, it's fun. Actually, you know, I feel like maybe I shouldn't eager to know something. Um, it seems like maybe you're confused about something. I don't know. Let me out. Um, sometimes people make a mistake and it doesn't make them a horrible person. Whoa. Sometimes people can make a mistake and they're still a good person. Crazy, I know. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you don't have to take that mistake. Oh no. Twist it up and grind it and add some lies to it and pull the rise it and stab it with knives and ruin a life and Oh no Sometimes people can make a mistake It doesn't mean you gotta send them hate Oh no Sometimes people can make a mistake and you can kindly let them know and help them to grow Sometimes people make mistakes simply because they made a mistake. And that mistake doesn't make them a terrible human. It just makes them a human.
What do I know? Fuck me, right? <laughs>